Yo, what is up guys? We got another gameplay review today. This is actually a spirit video, which is an interesting one because we haven't done a spirit video, I think. I think we did one. This might be our second one ever. And uh, there's a lot of good tips in here for spirit as well as general killer. The dude that sent me this made a few mistakes around unhook scenarios and stuff. So if you're just like general killer player, this video will probably help you out a lot. So let's hop right in and check it out. All right, guys, let's check out this video. This is a spirit game. Um, we're just going to boot right up. We're actually starting out in the offering screen, which is pretty neat. Uh, we got double mouse action going on. I'm, I'll, I'll eclipse his mouse with my mouse. But later, there wasn't too much spicy going on in the offering screen. Um, we'll see what happens in game. But this is a spirit game, and this is at rank 12. I already took a peek at the end game and spoiled it for you guys. So you guys, uh, you know, don't have to wait. It is rank 12, the killer, and the survivors are all around the same rank. It's a pretty, like, good balance. There's no, like, super fucked up matchmaking. It's pretty, it's pretty good. So, we're gonna hop in. Do I gotta skip forward? Okay, perfect. Rotten Fields is Spirit, which is not exactly one of the best maps to get a Spirit. But, I mean, you're Spirit, so, like, who really cares, okay? Okay, Spirit is one of the strongest killers in the game, okay? By far. In my opinion... If you're playing against good survivors, like if you're playing like at high, at high level with like really good survivors, I would put her at number two right under Nurse, honestly. Even better than Billy, IMO. But this is at rank 12, so this should be... Uh, I'll, I'll see how this goes. Um, right off the bat, I'm going to talk about your build real quick. You have uh, Discordance, Nurse is Calling, Barbecue and Chili, and uh, Bananaphobia, which I think is okay. It's important to keep in mind that Spirit... Is really strong. I'm gonna already start drawing. I, I I'm I'm in a doodling type mood. Her pros are that she's god tier in chases. Okay, that is her. That is her pro. That's her only pro. But that's literally all she needs. That's the biggest pro ever. And then her cons are that she's slow AF. Uh. That's really about it, honestly. That's that's pretty much the whole list of pros and cons here. That's like that's kind of important. Okay, so the the the, the thing about spirit is that once you actually find a survivor, assuming you're a good spirit, you can catch them bitches real fast because you're god tier in chases, right? But the problem is, is that you're slow as shit. So getting around the map and finding survivors can be a pain in the ass sometimes, right? Like if you're struggling to find a survivor, you know, and you're wasting too much time just walking around as a slow killer. Because if you don't know, she's a 4.4 .4 killer, where most killers are 4.6. So she's a little bit slower, and that's meters per second. If you don't know what these numbers are, that's how fast you move. So she's a 4.4 .4 killer, so she's slightly slower. So if you're wasting too much time walking around, it's not good, okay? I know this is a long rant, but you're running Discordance, Nurse's Calling, and Barbecue and Chili, which are kind of all tracking perks. And then you have one game slowdown perk, which is really important to know. I think that's really good. That is A++. That is, a, uh, that is good stuff, A+. Um... It's really important as Spirit, you want to run either tracking perks or game slowdown perks. You don't want any chase perks. Chase perks are stuff like Enduring, Bamboozle, Spirit Fury, perks that help you in a chase. You don't need, or like Brutal Strength, you don't need any of that shit. You just need tracking and slowdown. All you got to do is find people and then stuff to slow down the game and then you'll be fine because you can catch people very easily, okay? We're going to get started and I'm actually going to keep the volume of this video a little bit higher than maybe normal because Spirit plays really big on sound. So we're gonna we're gonna be playing with uh, a decent bit of audio. Um, hold on, you have two common add-ons. Let me see what those are real quick. Okay, so it looks like that it is slight power recovery and slight movement speed while in your power is what it is. I'm not super familiar with the commons, so I had to do a little bit of Google foo, but we figured it out. It's slight move speed and slight recovery. So recovery is like it like after you use it, it'll recharge slightly faster, and then speed is obviously speed while you're invisible. So very, very con it's basic stuff. It's very slight addition to each. So it's not going to be a huge deal. It's not going to be very game changing. Anyway, your discordance is going off. There's two people in this gen. So you get this is actually pretty interesting what you do here. Uh, this is good, although I'm not sure if it'll work. You got into if you guys don't know the way spirit works, he got into heartbeat range, right? Like he's close enough that he's in heartbeat range right now. And then he uses ability because if you're close enough in heartbeat range, and you use your ability, they won't actually hear the whooshing sound of you being in your ability. So if these guys wanted to be greedy and stay on the gen, even though there was a heartbeat, you might get a free grab right now. That was actually really smart to wait until you were in heartbeat range as opposed to waiting until you were, you know, as, as opposed to doing it too early. 
We'll see if it actually works out for you. You run it and it does. Yep, you can do stuff like that. Exactly. That, that, that was exactly my point. So if you don't know the way spirit works, if you're out of her terror radius, like, and she uses her ability, you'll hear like the vacuum sound, like the or whatever. I don't know. That was a terrible imitation. But, you know, you'll hear the sound of her being in her power. And then you're like, oh, shit, it's a spirit. I should get the fuck off this generator. Right. Whereas if you're in the terror radius, um, you don't hear that sound. All you hear is a terror radius. So she didn't hear it. You came right up and grabbed her off. That was a really good play. I don't know whether you knew that or if that was just a thing that you just did on accident. But either way, that was a really good play. So good shit, man. Good shit. Already got a generator grab within the first 10 seconds. There's a bill right in front of you after you hook him. Nice. Okay, you're going to chase him down in M1. I'm good, good, good. It would be really bad to use your ability here because you have a free M1 and then you could, your ability is still off cooldown. So you could hit him and then use your ability. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, why are you going back? No, 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 no. Don't do this. Oh, fuck. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. Yep. Yep. I could have already told you that that was a mistake. Oh, you could have had a free down right here, man. Yikes. Okay, so... Uh, there's there's really no reason to assume that anybody would be going for this save yet. You, like... You... I'm not going to give you shit for, like, returning to the hook and, like, call you a camper or anything, because I don't... Like, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think, like, bitching about camping is ever something that's healthy, but I think just generally this was the wrong play here, Okay. Like, you hit this guy, he's going towards, I don't know, like, nothing too crazy, right? Like, he runs off in the direction of, like, there's, like, cow trees right here, and then there's, like, some kind of a maze tile here, but it's nothing too strong. You're a fucking spirit, for Christ's sake. Like, you're really, you're really powerful in chase. So your options right now are to use your ability and then down this guy, which you would get a down on him, right? Or go back to the hook. And, like, here's the thing. Is that best case scenario of you returning to the hook? Like, even if you do go back to the hook... Okay, first off, the, there's probably not anybody going for this save yet, right? Like, this dude just got injured. So these guys are probably off working on generators out there, you know? And, like, this guy just got injured, so they're probably like, oh, shit. And they probably just started heading for the save. But they're probably nowhere near yet. They're probably, like, out here somewhere still, like, on their way in, right? Like, they're, they just started coming, if at all. So, returning to the hook here, and it, okay, and then even if you did return to the hook and there was someone there, best case scenario, you, you show up, they're like, oh, fuck, you know, and then they're all startled, and then you fucking chase them away, and it's the exact same situation as this bill. You're just chasing someone. Like, why not just get this down? I don't know why you abandon this down. Like, you could have had, like, like this is an insane amount of map pressure to have within the first 10 seconds. A dude, a dude hooked. And then another guy about to go down. You you could have easily went after this guy, downed him, had two downs. You could have you could you may you might have even been able to down him and, and then return to the hook because after you down him, they're definitely gonna go for the unhook. If you would have downed this guy, slugged him, and, and went back for the unhook, this game would have been over in the first ten seconds. I'm telling you that right now. I I, I would put money on the fact that this game would be over in like ten seconds. You would have downed him. And then once everyone saw that he was down, they, they would have been like, oh, fuck, we got to go get that unhook. And then you could have went back to the hook. Like, you could have just slugged them, went back to the hook, took advantage, and you, you would have had, like, th like three people downed in the first, like, 20 seconds. Instead, you uh, go back to the hook. You give this bill some time to run away. I mean, you're still probably going to get him, but... It might not seem like much, but that, like, 20 or 30 seconds that you just took to do that was kind of a big deal. Okay, you tried to farm that guy. This situ this isn't the right play, okay? Right here. Um Like you 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 slug this guy to, to get these guys, which is good, right? Like that's good. Like fuck that guy, you can leave him on the ground. But right here in this situation, um waiting and then trying to farm this poor sucker on the hook is not the play, okay? Because she might have borrowed time. Okay? You don't know what borrowed time is. It means when you unhook somebody, when the killer is near, and you're very fucking near, um, they, ha they have, like, an extra health state, right? What you can do right here is you can just hit this guy. You can hit him, and it'll literally cancel the unhook. And then he'll have to do it again, and he'll be injured this time. Like, you can literally just down this guy. Like, you don't need to go after this guy you could just down him very easily like all you got to do is like immediately go for the hit on the nia that's unhooking 
I don't know why you like I I hate when killers do this when they don't bother going for the unhooker Especially in a situation where it's good to like this one Like I'm not saying that you always have to go I know there's some people that are like if you don't go after the unhooker every single time you're a dirty Camping tunneling piece of shit. I'm gonna throw all morals out the window here And we're just gonna talk about what the correct play is right right here. The correct play is hitting this Nia and getting her injured and also canceling the unhook. And then whenever she goes for the unhook again, just fucking downing her, right? She'll get the unhook, but then you'll have a down, right? Instead, you go to try to farm this guy, which either three things can happen, right? Either A, you get the down. B, she has borrowed time and she gets away. Or C, she manages to take a hit for her and she gets away. And obviously what happens is option C. So like here, you should have a down. This should be an this should be an immediate down, but instead you like try to bait the farm and then you get body blocked and then you also lose track of her. Oh, she was right there. That was a that was a mistake, but like I feel like you just didn't react in time. I feel like you were probably just walking around. You saw him. You just spam space bar. Then at the last second you saw her. I mean, th this isn't that big of a deal. If you want to pick her up and carry her to the hook, that that, that uh, carry her to the hook, that's fine. This Nia just. You don't even gotta bother swinging at her, man. Just keep an eye on her. You should you should have kept an eye on her. Right there, like like all you gotta do, you don't even have to bother swinging at her because she's probably not gonna give you a hit. Um, all you should be doing right here, pick him up. Just keep an eye on her, dude. Just walk walk this direction while fucking staring directly at this bitch. Just stare at her. See where she goes. Know exactly where she goes. Only take your eyes off her to actually do the hook. Like, right here, your eyes are off her the whole time. You don't know where the hell she is right now. That information's a big deal, right? Like, now you're like, where the hell is she? Like, look, you're all panicking. And this other build comes out of nowhere. It, like, like if you knew where she was, you could have turned around and, like, immediately got her. These guys are, like, playing way too altruistic. This this should be an easy 4K. Um, We'll see what happens, though. The, the build got the unhook, and then you hit the build, they got the unhook. And... Now you're going after him. Good, good, good. Using your ability, you can see the corn moving. Okay, you, you so you can hear him. We'll see if this works. Okay, okay, it did work. Uh, keep in mind, if you're playing Spirit, the, the the cues you have are audio cues and visual cues, right? Like if you notice right here, you can see like corn moving, right? Like you can see this corn moving right here, right? Um, here we'll like we'll we'll, we'll play it back a little bit. I'm gonna leave the circle there because you can see the corn moving, right? Like right there, you can see the corn moving. And then on top of that, you could also hear the audio cue. Right right there, you can hear him coughing. Which I think you heard, and that's why you came out of stealth. So keep that in mind. If you're a spirit player, make sure you got like a pair of headphones. And make sure you're listening and watching for audio and visual cues. Because there's a lot of cues. There's also footsteps. There's a lot of cues that can help you out as a killer. Okay, so here... You hook this dude. There's a dude on this generator. Okay. And then there's also a guy self-carrying over there. Okay. So that's that's what you see with your barbecue and chili. It looks like you decide to go for this guy, which is really weird. Because this guy is accomplishing nothing. He's not really on any objective. He's kind of just out there self-carrying and doing nothing. And by the time you get to him, he's probably going to be full health. So, like, this is a weird decision. If I were you, I would get that guy on the gen. Like, he's injured, so he's going to be an easy down, and he's on an objective, so if you chase him, you get him off that objective. Whereas, you chasing this guy means that this dude over here, this guy over here, is just going to do the generator. Like, he's going to get that generator done, when you could have stopped him from doing it. And this guy is probably going to be full health, so he'll be a more of a pain in the ass to chase. So this is a weird decision if this is what you do. And it looks like you are doing that, which is, I don't... I mean, I get you have nurses calling, so if you get there fast enough, maybe you can, I don't know, stop him. But I feel like I would want to pressure the... Wait, what are you doing? He was right there. Wait, what are you doing? Wait, stop it. He was... Did you not see him? Wait. Wait, stop it. Wait, what are you doing? Sir. Sir, do you have one eye? Are you wearing an eye patch? Do you have no depth perception? Okay, that was mean. All right. I, I don't mean it. I don't mean it. Listen, I, fu I, 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 I fuck this stuff up all the time. Okay, so I get it. But this dude is not anywhere near the tractor. He's behind the tractor. Like, right here is the tractor, right? Like, the tractor is right here. He's, like, behind it. I don't know if maybe you're just bad at telling, like... Maybe you're just, like, inexperienced and you don't really know 
how far away this is based on like the size of the model, but that's very far away. He's at like the corner of the map. And on top of that, you have nurses calling. Like you have nurses calling, man. So like you can see that shit. Like you like you come into range and then you can see him for a split second here, right? Right there. You can see him. It's kind of behind your devious thing, but he's right there. Like you weren't even looking for nurses calling, man. Like you have nurses calling. You should be looking for that shit. You kind of like check the tractor. And then you just bail. That was such a waste. So, like, you didn't down the guy, and you didn't go get the guy on the generator. You just did nothing. Like, you just wasted time right there. You did, you ended up just doing nothing. You could have done so many things. You could have downed that guy. You could have got the guy off the generator. But instead, you did nothing. And now you're kind of just wandering around in the field and kind of proxy camping this guy is all you're really doing. I just... I don't understand why. You had, you had so many options. And now you're coming back over here, I guess, to see if you can catch him on the gen. I think that was him that just healed. So he's just he just healed over there like this is more game sense too. like this dude just healed and that was the only guy healing while you're on barbecue so it was obviously him so you know he's over there which i guess even if you know he's over there it doesn't make this any different of a play kicking this gen is not worth the time it literally all right i, I know i'm critiquing the shed of you right now and i get that you're low rank but i'm just trying to point out all the mistakes right this gen is worked on for like half a second this piston is barely even moving at all this is like like, literally, the time it takes for you to kick this gen is probably longer than they've worked on the gen. So, this is not worth it all. Like, this is just pointless. There's really just no point in even doing that, honestly. I know it's only a couple seconds, but, like, that couple seconds could have got you back to the hook to get a hit on this unhook. Okay, so I heard someone to the right there, but it's okay, because you're, you're about to hit this Nia. Um, here. So, while you're doing this, you gotta make sure that, like, you gotta make sure that you're listening really well. Watching and listening, right? I heard that, like, there was 100% footsteps that way. It sounded like a bill. I think I heard a bill grunting and footsteps that way, okay? That's kind of something that comes with time as you play. You kind of, like, learn to hear audio cues. But you kind of come out of cloak, and then there happens to be a Nia in your face. I didn't hear this Nia at all. So, like, this seems like it was pretty lucky. She might have Iron Will. I think it was just kind of lucky. You came out of cloak, and the Nia was just right there. But I mean, hey, either way, good shit. You got the Nia. So you down her, grab her, um, take her over to this hook. It's just that you're not basementing anybody. There is basement, like, right there. Like, Shaq has basement, and it's, like, right beside you. You probably could have basemented that guy, but it's okay that you didn't. Like, getting him to the hook faster isn't a bad idea either. You see these guys healing, so you're going to head their way. They got the heal off. Couple of bills just hanging out, doing their bill thing. You whipped on this guy in the field. I'm not going to give you too much shit for that because he is a bill and he's green. And the corn is also green. So he kind of blends, right? He's got that natural camouflage. And I know it's kind of rough out there, especially if you're like a not super experienced killer. You know what I mean? He's he's doing the old wishy-washy. It happens, dude. I'm not going to give you too much shit about it. You, you, you get another hit. For the record, if you don't want to miss your hits, a pretty much guaranteed way to never miss your... What the hell just happened? What? Pretty much a guaranteed way to, to never miss your hits is to wait until you're, like, right up against them and then just short swing, you know? Don't lunge. Just wait until you're right up against them and then just tap them once. A pretty good way to never miss if you're worried about missing or if you get 360'd often. Um, I don't know what the fuck this is. So you, like, hit this guy and then you, like, walk backwards in that direction. I guess you're, like, looking for the other bill, maybe? Or you're, you're looking for auras of people self-carrying? And then this bill just runs... Like, what the hell is he doing? He just runs right back into you. What is happening? What am I watching? Wait, what's going on? Okay, this bell just walked right back into you for some reason. And then, like, right here, like, he's to your right. All you got to do is, like, right now, just tap M1 and look to the right a little bit. Like, just M1 and then look slightly to the right. And then this guy goes down. I guess you did that, huh? I don't know why that didn't work. Like, maybe you just reacted too slow. I guess he kind of just 360. Like, he kind of just went the other way. I don't know. It happens, man. Listen, the, the, the corn's pretty fucky, okay? It's pretty hard to keep track of, like, keep track of people. Oh, keep track of people sometimes in the corn, so I get it. But the point is, is that this is weird, too. Because now, like, you're still not downing this bill. Like, even after this whiff, you can still down him. You're just chilling in a field with him. Like, I guess he ran to the window. 
Like, it's just, yeah, he's in the shack. That was, that whole situation is just so unfortunate. That should have been the easiest down ever. And now you're going to go for him again. It seems like you're just really indecisive. Like, you're not sure what to do. You're like, fuck, do I go back to the hook? Do I chase this bill? Like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I mean, you're a spirit, so you can literally chase whoever you want. Like, you'll be able to catch whoever you want as long as you're good with spirit. Um, the scratch marks didn't go over here. Like, the scratch marks go this way. Right? Like, they go... He, he was either... He was either in this locker... He either used quick and quiet to jump in this locker, or he's, like, right around the back of this is where he is. There's no scratch marks over here. I'm not really sure why you go over this way. There's, like, no scratch marks over this way at all. You kind of just, like, stray off the path and then go over here for some reason. I don't really know why. He's not... There's no way he's over here. You hear himself carrying right in front of you. There you go. Good shit. Good shit. So he was behind. All right. I'm, I'm glad you heard him self care, and that's good. You start, you started, you started to leave, and then he—I don't know why the fuck he self cared like that. This Bill is not—he's a bit of a—he's a bit of a of a spud. But you throw him on the hook. Um, you're looking around. You see a couple auras over here. You come out a little early to make sure that they're not getting in front of you. That was still like you're still looking, like you're looking to. I feel like you're. See, okay, he, he, here's the thing. I, I don't, I don't want to, like, judge too hard because I know you're, like, ranked 12. I'm not really sure how long you've been playing this game or whatever, right? So, like, maybe you're just missing a lot of, like, experience and game sense. But, like, these auras are pretty far away, right? Like, here, let's, let's go to where you hook this guy. Okay. Like, you're looking around to make sure that no one's, like, trying to unhook in your face, right? Like, this guy is crouching, and this guy's on a generator, right? This dude crouching, he's literally crouching around like it's very clear that this guy is not about to break into a sprint and run your way right like he's literally just crouching around right now he's fucking terrified so like and he's pretty like like okay he's like like say this is you and this is him right you stop at like you stop at like right here and then look around for him like it's really odd it seems like you're not really good at it seems like okay i should say you need to work on Figuring out distance like this, right? Like, he's not that far away from this generator. But you, like, teleport forward. Like, he's very clearly not going anywhere either. And you stop, like, right here. Like, he's, like, up here somewhere, right? And you just stop, like, right here. And then you, like, look around for him like he should be here. You're like, where is this guy? But he's, like, further up. He's, like, much further up. Like, I'm not sure what you're looking for here. He's not here. And not only that, he was a little bit more to the left, too. So now you're just going to go back to the hook. I feel like... I'll just keep watching before I say anything. And there's the bar of time again. Which, again, like... Kind of like I said, it's kind of bad to, like, target the people that get unhooked because of stuff like that. Like, a lot of times, it's like you're going to get hard punished. You lose track of this guy in the corn, which it happens. If you're not, if you, if you haven't played a lot, you might not be good at seeing through corn, so it happens. He throws God Pallet. This is really smart of you to bait him. That was a really good play. That was a super good play. I'm really glad you did that. I actually, this is the first time in the whole video that I've actually seen you use her ability as a mind game. I was wondering if I was going to see it. This was really good, okay? So to anybody watching that like doesn't play Spirit or doesn't really understand Spirit or even wants to get better at Spirit, this is a perfect example of why Spirit is so powerful, okay? This palette is like commonly referred to as God Palette because it's probably the strongest palette in the game that commonly spawns. Like this palette's on almost every map and it's one of the strongest palettes in the game. Like against almost any killer other than like a nurse or a spirit this pallet is completely safe like when you're here and the pallet's thrown the killer has to break the pallet and, and until they do you're totally safe and that's the thing about spirit that's what makes her so powerful is that nothing is safe against spirit because there's always stuff like this you can do right so okay what happens here the way spirit works is that when she uses her ability right she leaves behind a husk of herself that looks like her afk right like the husk that she leaves behind looks the exact same as just you standing still and being AFK. So, 
I have a whole video about this. If you guys if you guys want to check out my spirit video, feel, feel free. I have a whole guide to her that explains all this. But I'll do a quick overview, okay? So from the survivor's point of view, what, like what, when you stand here and just stand still, like you like fake the user ability and then you just stand still. Like it, like to someone who doesn't play spirit or doesn't really know a lot about spirit, like this might look confusing. But what 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 he's doing right here is he's faking like he's using his ability. Like right now, you're 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 just standing still. But from his point of view, it looks like you're about to teleport, and he's like freaking out. He's like, "Fuck, what's he doing?" So he tries to be sneaky and he tries to like slowly walk over and slow vault the the window. You know what I mean? To try to like outplay you and, and trick you. But little does he know you're actually just fucking standing there watching him. So whenever he leaves, you just go get the hit. This was a really good play. This is like the perfect showcase of why Spirit is such a strong killer. Like that is a spot in the map that you should never get caught as survivor and Spirit's so strong that she can force you into making mistakes. So that was a really good play. I'm actually really proud of you for doing that. Good shit, man. Very, 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 very good stuff. So you're gonna take this build to a hook now. I think it's your last stack of barbecue. It, again, you're not taking anybody to a basement. Again, I'm still not really sure why. I don't know if you're just choosing not to or what. But you literally down this guy at the building that basement's in. Like you could have carried this guy to basement. Basement's very powerful. Okay. Like if 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 you really care about getting kills and you really care about doing well, put people in basement when you can. Like when it's convenient. You know what I mean? It makes it up, especially like. I don't mean this the wrong way. Don't, I hope you don't take this as like an insult, but your play style seems to be kind of campy. I don't, I, okay, I don't view camping and tunneling as like an insult for the record. Like, I don't give a shit. Play however you want. So, like, if I say shit like that, please don't be like insulted. Like, oh my god, Tuffy is calling people campers. I don't care. You can camp if you want. I don't give a shit. It's just a play style, right? I don't particularly like it. I don't like playing against it or whatever, but it's not an insult, right? I, but I'm, okay, sorry. I, you, the point is, is that your playstyle this game has been pretty, like, campy, right? Like, you definitely keep an eye on the hook quite a bit. Like, you've, you've like, left chases to go back to the hook many, many times and shit. So, like, with that being said, with that being, like, your general playstyle, it seems like basement would be perfect for you. Like, it, it kind of blows my mind that you're not putting anyone in basement. Because you can put people in basement, and then, like, if anyone ever goes for the unhook, they're fucked, you know? Like... I don't know. It just it seems odd to me that you're not taking advantage of the basement. Either way, I don't know. Maybe you're just being nice, or maybe you just I don't know. Like you uh, just don't want to take the time to do it. But you could have gotten it like five different times. Okay, you're looking around over here for this dude. There's scratch marks here, so he like ran this way. He's yeah, he's coming up here. You're following him now. There's two people on a gen over there. This guy's going for the unhooks. So you're gonna go get him. We don't know if this bill has borrowed time yet. The other bill definitely has borrowed time. These whiffs, though, man, they're not good. I feel like I feel like you really need to take take some time to like. It's it's a hard thing to improve, especially when it comes to corn and people that like blend well in the corn. It's kind of tough. But you need to take time to learn how to like track survivors better and watch out for 360s. You know what I mean? Because you you've missed, you've like missed a lot of hits that should be easy. He's over here, by the way. E that should be easy downs. I, I, I think you caught on. I I'm not going to give you too much shit for that because I think you just kind of momentarily lost track of the scratch marks. That happens to all of us. All right, he's right in front of you. You're chasing him. He's over to your right still. He's No, he's to your left, actually. Okay, that confused me, too. I'm going to be honest. I thought I heard him to your right, but I think that was just me mishearing stuff. So you chase him down. Again, the, 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 the bill blends really well with the corn, so it's kind of hard to see him. But he runs over here. You kind of lose track of him a bit. You could always, like, just look at the ground and look for the scratch marks if you're getting lost. He vaults this window. Vaults that window. He's just holding W. You can just... Yeah. This build's not very good in chases. He just kind of runs. Like, he literally just runs in a straight line. always seems to do. So, th that's a free down. You're just going to grab him, yoink him, take him over, hook him. I think he's... Is he dead on hook? He might be. He is. So good shit. You got a kill. Um, there's a dude on the gen over there. He was injured and walking away. So it's really interesting to keep in mind whenever you come over here. All right. You come out of your ability. You used it as far as you could. Um, which is good. I mean, you're using it for mobility, which is fine. He was over here. Nice. Good find. Good find. You tried to hide with Iron Will. That was really smart. See, that's weird. Because based on the way you were playing earlier, it seemed like you had no idea how far people were with auras. Maybe you just like learned just now 
But what happened right here, like you played this really well. What happened right here is after you hook this guy with barbecue, you see him walking away from the generator that direction, right? Like you like like the gen's here and he's walking that way. And you can see that, right? So whenever you teleport, you're like, hmm, he looks like he was walking right around to here. Like this is around where he was walking to. So you came right around the corner and you're like, hey, a bill, you know? That was really fucking good. That's really like that's surprising because, like I said earlier, it kind of seemed like there was a lot of instances where when, whenever you would see an aura with barbecue, you were really struggling to tell how far away they were. So that's kind of odd that you played that one so well after you played the last one. It's kind of bad. Anyway, he's dead too, so now there's only two survivors left, and you have three gens that are kind of close to each other. So we'll see how this plays out. This dude runs the shack. Um... He's running to the jungle gym over here. Yeah, you kind of saw him for a second. I think you're trying to keep an eye on the gens, too. I think this is a bad time to use your... You know what? It might work out use, to use your ability. Okay, good shit. Good shit. I, I don't like to use my ability until I have, until I have like line of sight of the survivor. I think it's a lot better as spirit, but that ended up working out. It's never really a bad time to use your ability. Shit, dude. Okay, I mean, right now, you can slug her and go for the 4K if you, if you want. Looks like you're going to hook her instead. They get the last gen done. They got the gen done right here. Like, keep in mind, like, whenever it's the last gen and all three gens pop, like, the one that they actually fixed will, will be the one that glows like this, right? Like, because this gen is, like, glowing the way it is, like, it shows, like, like the glowing generator, that means that this is the one that they fixed right here. Like, they fixed this generator. Those ones out there, they didn't do. So, the dude was here just, like, a second ago. Like, literally just, like, a second ago, he was here. So after you hook this guy, keep in mind that this guy is close. If you don't see him with barbecue, he's very close. You don't see him with barbecue, he's very close. I think you know that. And you're kind of like looking around. Okay, you're... Keep an eye on this hook. Um... You might want to... I feel like I feel like you need to check behind stuff some more. Like, he might be... Okay, he just he showed up. There you go. No, no, no. Don't do it again. No, no, no. Stop. You did it again. Oh, man. Again. You can just get them down, dude. You don't have to do this. This could. This literally could have been the 4K right here. If this ends up not being a 4K, then it's all because of this right here. This could have easily been the 4K. Oh, man. This hurts to watch, honestly. Don't ever do this. Don't ever do this. If you're standing in front of a hook and someone's unhooking in your face, don't just ignore the guy unhooking and then try to farm like, oh man, like right here, hit this Nia, hit this Nia right here, hit her, hit her, cancel her animation, and then she has one option, she has two options, right? She either leaves, in which case you chase her down and kill her, or she gets the unhook, and then if she gets the unhook, you just down her, and then she's like alive, but she's injured, right? So then... She, like, like she would be downed. She'd be, like, dying on the ground. She'd be like, oh, I'm dead now. Uh, like, on the ground dying, right? And then this Nia would be running off injured. So you can just leave her slug, chase her until you catch her. It doesn't even matter how long it takes you. It can take you an hour. You have all fucking day. Like, as long as, like, as long as this Nia doesn't have Unbreakable, this is a 4K right here. Easily. Like, literally easily. Oh, man, this sucks, dude. I hate watching this, especially when you made the mistake earlier, too. So you don't... You try to farm this guy. Like, like first off, like, this is a bad play. And I just want to throw this out there, too, to keep in mind that this is also just kind of like... I, I said I wasn't going to pull morals into any of this, but I'm going to kind of pull morals in a bit. This kind of sucks, too, as, like, the person on the hook. Keep in mind. Like, the person on the hook can't really control their teammates unhooking in front of the killer's face. So, like, I always advise that people play both sides, right? Like, if you're a killer player, I always advise that you play some survivor. If you're a survivor player, I always advise that you play some killer. At least get to, like, high rank on both sides and experience, like, some of both sides. Because if you do, you know that as a survivor, it fucking sucks hard to have someone unhook you in the killer's face and then the killer just completely fucking ignore them and kill you instead. Even though it's this person making the mistake, this person is just chilling. This this guy right here is the guy that's making the mistake and farming him, right? And like, you can easily, it's actually the correct play to punish this guy and kill him. But like, you keep trying to get this guy and it's just like, it's, it's the wrong play and it also sucks as the survivor. It's just all around bad. It's just It's just so bad. 
Like you, you this is a this is a habit that you really that you really need to break. Like if you were far away, right? Like if you were really far away and coming in and you couldn't get a hit on this guy before he gets the unhook, then by all means go nuts. But like if you're this fucking close that you can literally hit this guy to interrupt the unhook and then hit him again whenever he actually does get the unhook, that's what you want to do every single time. But instead, you do the same thing as earlier. You try to farm the guy off the hook, and then this other dude like jumps in front of you and takes the hit. And now they're both injured and they're splitting up, right? This knee is going to fuck off that way. This other knee is going to fuck off that way. And now you got to pick one to chase. Whereas you could have had them. You could have had one guy down and then chase the other guy. That could have been the scenario you're in. But now you're in like a shittier situation. She throws. She threw. Oh, that's not the play. I mean, that was just probably just a mistake. I mean, I feel like you probably knew that. But like you chase her. You can hear her throw the pallet to your left. This wall here is shaped like this right and then you like kind of go into it and then you're like oh fuck and then you gotta like go around and come back out i feel like that was just like a you know you might have known that and it was just a mistake you're like oh fuck 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 and then you come out um so she's running off now you're still chasing her which is good you just don't have an ability yet which is fine though you should still be able to get her hopefully actually is that door open no it's not open there's no way they had time to open right no there's no way all right, so you're chasing her down. There's a uh, pallet here. She hits you with the pallet. She's just leaving. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. You should keep more line of sight of her. You, you should. Okay, here, here, here's what you should have did here. Oh, this, you played this really bad. Okay, I, 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 I can tell that you get the general idea of spirit. Like you can tell. I know that you can tell like the general idea of what you can do as spirit. But here's how you should have played this, right? Like, after she gets the pallet stun, what you want to do is you want to position yourself like, okay, she's not going to leave this pallet, right? She's probably not going to leave this pallet until you force her to. So what you can do is you can loop around the pallet, right? Like, here's the pallet, right? Like, it's like a setup like this. Like, right here is the actual pallet, and then there's like a thing here. So, like, there's like these high hedges here. Like, these are like high hedges that are kind of hard to see over. And this is also kind of high and hard to see over. So, like, right now... You're here, and the knee is here, right? So, like, if you try to stand still like you do, she can just go here or here, and then you lose line of sight of her, and you have no idea what she's doing, right? Like, it seems like you're just trying to bait her into vaulting the pallet, but if she doesn't vault the pallet, then you're fucked. What, what you can do instead is you can loop around the pallet to, like, right here, and then that forces her to also loop around the pallet and right here. So you kind of, like, switch spots, right? If you switch spots here, you can have a lot more vision of her, like if like if you so basically like what I'm saying is you want to be where she is right now and you want her to be where you are right now. And then that would give you so much more vision on her so that while you're doing this mind game that you do, like you're like like you're trying to do this mind game where you like sit still here, you know, and, and like fake phase. But right here, you have no line of sight. You can't see where the hell she went. You just you, you have nothing. Right. So like if you position yourself better to a spot where you have more vision, you can have more vision of her and then you can tell exactly what she's doing. And then that way, based off what she does, you can react, right? If she tries to leave the if she tries to leave the tile, then you can just chase after her. If she, you know, is just standing still in one spot, then you can use your ability to teleport on top of that spot. You know, like you can there's so many options once you do that. But instead you like you fake it and then she just leaves. And then you kick the pallet too, which is also kind of a waste of time. Like you, like you should just leave at this point. She's probably not even here anymore. Like you should just get the fuck out of here. Like taking the time to kick this pallet, that's like a whole two or three seconds. Like, like probably around like two and a half seconds that she has to run away. Like now she's fucking gone. She's in Narnia. You completely lost her. Like that could have been a down easily, but you instead like let her get away completely. Looks like this door is open, so this is out too. Yeah, this is really unfortunate, man. Are these guys both gonna get out? It looks like they are. That's really unfortunate, man. This could have been a 4K and like, okay, again, I, I'm kind of like heavily critiquing you right now, even though you're like rank like 12, I think it was. So keep that in mind. Like, but this could have been a 4K like legitimately like 12 different times. Like there was so many different times in this game where you could have just stacked map pressure and gotten 4Ks so much. In this situation, you're kind of fucked, by the way. You don't have whispers. This gate's open. Hatch is also open somewhere. This Nia has so many options. She's running out. Yeah, she's there. There wasn't really anything you could do there except for hope that you get lucky, and you didn't. So she had so many options. She could have ran out the gate. She could have went for hatch. So that was just really unlucky. Um, you're a good sport, though. Good to see. Good to see. Love the wholesomeness. 
Hopefully they're not going to be douchebags. Nice, they, nice. They just say GG2. Nice. You love to see it. Everyone tells me DVD is toxic. Look at this shit. DVD is toxic, my asshole. Look at that. That's what you like to see, dude. Some good old wholesomeness. Um. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. So this is rank twelve. Like this is pretty much the ranks that you know you can see. Uh. Like a bunch of these guys had borrowed time, which is also really bad for the way that you were playing this. Again, a bunch of mistakes that you made. Uh, you, you should be making mistakes, though. I, I don't want you to feel bad about this if, if you're watching this, Cake. Um, because you're rank 12, right? You should be making a fuck ton of mistakes. Even rank... Even, like, really good rank 1 killers, even... Like, like like I've been playing this game for, like, 4,000 hours. And if I was to, like, gameplay review one of my own videos, I'm sure I would be making a fuck ton of mistakes, too. Because everyone makes mistakes, right? But, uh... So, so, so like, don't feel bad about it. I think you played all in all. You played really well. I can tell that you get a really... You definitely have a good understanding of how spirit works. And uh, I can definitely tell that you're going to be really good with her. Um, and considering that you're not even running Hex Ruin either, like you're only running Thanatophobia for a slowdown perk. I would be running Hex Ruin if I were you. I don't know if maybe you just don't have it, but I would be running Hex Ruin. Like Thanat is like not a very good slowdown perk. So you could even change that out for Hex Ruin if you want. You can do a lot better. But definitely, definitely some mistakes to work on. Um, like the early game, go, like when you went back to the hook was so weird. Like... Something to understand as killer is that some of the best shit you can do, like literally the best situation to be in as killer, no matter what killer you are, is having a guy on a hook and then having another guy downed, right? That's so much map pressure. Like, like you had this guy on a hook, right? And then you were all, and then you like chased away this bill here. Like this situation hurt me so much, man. Because you had this guy on a hook, right? And then there was a bill here that you could have easily downed. Like you're a spirit and he's running into nowhere. You could have easily downed this guy. This you you could have ended the game literally right here. Like this video could have been like four minutes long instead of twelve, because you could have downed this guy, then went back to the hook, and you probably would have found a third guy. So that'd be so much map pressure, right? That's one guy on a hook that can't do anything. That's one guy that's down that can't do anything. There there will be a guy coming to the hook that you can chase that also can't do anything. So then there's only one guy that's like able to do anything, and he's gonna have to frantically try to like heal everyone and shit. It's just like it it was a potential for so much so much map pressure. That you kind of just gave up because you went back to the hook. It was really odd. That and the and and like the hook play was really really bad. Like like the way that you played the the unhook scenarios both times, where you like tried to wait for the unhook and then kill the guy that got unhooked, is just all around the bad play. It's just a, a very very bad play that you should get it out of the habit of doing. Um, other than that though, every other mistake you made is kind of more like the other mistakes you made weren't really like decision making mistakes. As much as they were, like, just experience mistakes, right? Like, you, like, whiffing M1 hits on people out in the field isn't really something that I can tell you. It's not really, like, a bad decision you made, right? Like, it's just kind of you being inexperienced, and you'll get better at that with time. So, I don't really need to tell you anything about what to do better. You're just going to get better as time goes on. Like, the palette, like... The way you played as one palette was definitely, like, could have been better. But, again, the fact that you're, like, experimenting and trying to mind game at all is a big deal. Because a lot of Spirit players just play really badly and don't even try to mind game at all. So, the fact that you even tried to mind game this at all was really good. I think you could have played it better. I think it's definitely important to keep in mind that you want to keep your LOS on the Survivor. Like, you want to get as much LOS on the Survivor as you can before you go for the fake, the fake ability. But other than that, man, you played this really well. Like, honestly, all things considered... For only being ranked 12, and I'm going to guess that you don't have a crazy amount of hours in this game. I think you played this really, really, really well. You definitely made some mistakes. And as long as you work on those mistakes and improve, you're going to be a really good killer. You're going to be a fucking beastie spirit, man. I can already tell. Like, you're going to be a, a pain in the ass to play against. I'll tell you that much. So, uh, thank you so much for submitting, man. I enjoyed I enjoyed reviewing this. This was all around a, a, a good gameplay review. I think there's a lot to take from this. There's a lot to learn, even if you're just a general killer player. Um... Yeah, that's it. Yo, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. Remember that you guys can also submit footage yourself to review by joining the Discord that is linked below. Sending me a DM with a link to your YouTube video. Make sure it's a, a, a unlisted video and that the video quality and the audio quality is good. And the gameplay is bad gameplay so I can have things to correct you on and, you know, actually talk about. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to sub and like and all that shit if you want. And have a good rest of your night. See you later. See ya. Have a good one. See ya.